God. Just wave those hands in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm going to be asking those that are on the aisle, I'm going to ask you kindly to come in the main sanctuary. Those that are on this other aisle, I'm going to ask you to come in the main sanctuary. Only the choirs are to be on the outer side. Everyone else, I'm asking you kindly, please come over in the main aisle. We do have seats for you. We do have seats for you. Glory, glory, glory to God. Truly, God is amazing. I just want you to clap those hands for the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just clap those hands for the Lord. If God has been good to you, clap those hands for the Lord. Glory, glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I just want to say many, many thanks to you all for being here this afternoon as we just gather to celebrate and appreciate a fine woman of God, none other than Reverend Isilda Noteman. Please put your hands together and give her a round of applause as Minister DeMar Stewart and Minister Andrew Brown will be taking her to her seat while the other ministers stand guard. Our singing birds will be doing the main song on our program. Glory to God. Great is thy faithfulness. O oh God, my Father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God, my Father.
you, God. Just wave those hands in the presence of the Lord. Almighty, we are so grateful to be here. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto thee. Glory, glory, glory to God. Before you have your seats, allow us to do our opening prior glory to god just clap those hands for the lord we truly give god thanks for this afternoon glory to god we give god thanks for the reason we are here and we give god thanks for our great reverend i sell the note man glory to god at this time to do our con our opening congregational prayer is none other than Bishop Glenroy Sutton, and he's the divisional overseer of our local assemblies. Please receive Bishop Sutton in the care of the Holy Ghost. Praise God, join me in prayer, please. Great indeed is thy faithfulness, O God, our Father. We are indeed the beneficiary of your faithfulness. And we say thank you for being so faithful to us. But more so, we thank you, O oh God, for your dear daughter, Reverend Isilda Noteman, who we gathered here, O oh God, this evening to celebrate, O oh God. Lord, we celebrate her life. We celebrate our God, our life in ministry. Lord, we thank you for allowing our God to blaze the trail for these many years, O oh God. And as we come to celebrate our oh God, we pray that thou would take over this service, O oh God. And O oh God, let the Holy Spirit be present in our midst, O oh God. So everything that we set out to do, O oh God, will bring glory and honor to your name, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for what has transpired thus far, Lord. For the praise and worship, O oh God. And so we ask you, O oh God, to bless, O oh God, the remaining portion of the service, O oh God. Glorify yourself in everything that we do, O oh God. And when we shall come to the end of this service, O oh God, our hearts will be so blessed. We will be so inspired that you will say it was good for us to be here so take control of the service we pray thee and just glorify yourself in our doings in Jesus' name glory to God hallelujah thank you so very much Bishop Sutton for that lovely prayer just put your hands together for the Lord Glory to God. We truly give God thanks for his great faithfulness to all of us. Hallelujah. At this time, I just want you to take your Bibles with us. As Reverend Clement Logan from the St. Thomas Assembly will be doing the scripture reading for us this evening. And it will be taken from Proverbs 3. Reverend Logan, can you come please? You. Good evening, everyone. Our scripture reading comes to us this evening from the book of Proverbs, the third chapter, reading from verses 1 through to 19. I am going to be reading it from the King James Version, while you follow in your Bibles. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them upon thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. 
Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not on thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the fr first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and the presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be wary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteth. Even as a father, the son in whom he delighted. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and, go and grain, thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies. And all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retained her nineteen ten ending. Lord, by wisdom art found them the earth, by understanding art he established the heavens. The Lord has spoken, let the church declare, Amen. Glory to God. Thank you very much, Reverend Logan. Just put your hands together for the Lord. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Before you take your seats, just point your hands to Reverend Norman and say, Bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Glory to God. Just give the Lord a clap offering for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You may have your seats. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. We will be appreciating and honoring our dearest reverend i still the noteman this afternoon and i'm so grateful that you joined with us to celebrate with us that amen. amen glory to god at this time to do the special welcome and acknowledgement will be missionary raquel stewart Immediately after Missionary Stuart does our welcome, we will be having the choir ministry. That's the Voices of Inspiration. And immediately after the Voices of Inspiration, we'll have a special poem from Exhorter Keisha Stuart. We will go in that order. Thank you very much, Missionary Stuart. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me hear you say hallelujah glory to God. If I had the gift of singing, I would ring out the melodies of this song. But because I'm otherwise gifted, here goes. How can we say thanks for the things God has done for us? Things so undeserved. You even came to prove your love for us. The voices of a million angels could not express our gratitude. All that we are and ever hope to be, we owe it all to thee. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory for the things he has done. Today, January 21st, 2024, marks a special day in the life of the Power of Faith Ministries International Incorporated. Special because it is the day we gather in our various capacities, offices, and calling to give honor to whom honor is due and tribute to whom tribute is due. 
Reverend Isildur Notman has served faithfully and sacrificially in the office of the Senior Assistant Pastor of the Power of Faith Ministries International Headquarters. And it is, it is a bittersweet moment for us. While we give honor, recognition, and appreciation to her, we are also changing the guard as she retires from this much esteemed office. But before we unfold the activities of this evening, we must pause to welcome everyone gathered. Whether you are in the sanctuary or on our social media platforms and the cable networks, we say welcome to your father's house and welcome to this very special appreciation service for our dear Reverend Noteman. Special acknowledgement must be made to our visionaries and leaders, Apostle Dr. Delford and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, who answered the clarion call over 40 years ago following the voice of the Lord in an answer to prayers prayed by our stalwart of the faith, Minister Noteman, for her pastor to return. We must also recognize our Assistant General Overseer, Bishop Dr. Howard James Grandison, the Senior Pastor for the Bog Walk Assembly, Divisional Overseer Bishop Glenroy Sutton, and his wife, Reverend Charmaine Sutton, Senior Pastors of the Goshen and Hatfield Assemblies, Reverend Clement and Minister Joy Logan, Senior Pastors for the Niceville Assembly in St. Thomas, and Minister Neil Thorpe and his wife, Missionary Dr. Denise Thorpe, serving as the interim pastor for the Grove Road Assembly. We must also acknowledge the family members of Minister Isilda Noteman, all the, all the ministers, officers, and members of the Power of Faith Ministries. We welcome one and all. On this occasion, we ask the Lord to take the stage and have his way. We are only his vessels and nothing more. And we say, when you are done, Lord, take the glory, as we will be satisfied to see you glorified. This is an evening of singing, laughing, praying, praising, worshiping, and giving of thanks. An evening of reflection, reminiscing on the impact this mighty woman of God, Reverend Noteman, has made in our lives our church family, and our communities. No one has ever come in contact with this game changer, a woman of wisdom and virtue, and leave the same. For those who are just coming into the ministry, you may not understand the fullness of our Mama Noteman, as we affectionately call her. It is therefore our hope and prayer that before the night is over, you'll be blessed by the many accolades bestowed on one so deserving. Some things said or some are done will etch forever in your mind the full worth and substance of this angel of God, a servant of God who never withheld anything from the kingdom of God and his people. So, to start the evening's activities, we invite you to take a look at this video introducing the lady of the hour, Reverend Isilda Noteman. God bless you. All right, voice of inspiration, please go ahead.
Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. What a privilege to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. This is a tribute in poem to Reverend Isilda Notesman. We don't need a first degree or a PhD to see the magnitude of your worth and nobility. Your longevity, faith, and authenticity is truly remarkable and noteworthy. You know the true definition of loyalty and sacrifice and have lived your life with no bargain or compromise as a faithful follower of Jesus Christ. A real gem divinely cultivated in the minds of heaven. Your commitment and dedication no one can question. With a heart of gold enfolded in his love and dipped in his grace, you have fought a good fight and have run a triumphant race. A faithful steward true to the mission and without hesitation running with the vision even before the ministry's inception. Building the spiritual blocks of the work with your fervent intercession. Opening your home and your heart and devotedly playing your part. You are a real life epistle of faithfulness and meekness. And those whose lives you have touched have gathered here to attest. Adorned in God's word and wrapped in his light. Always giving selfless service and never giving up the fight. You are equipped with the God-given ability to speak to the core of our humanity. Watching our souls with life-transforming messages like, it is well. And we have been set up for a miracle. 
So we just can't give up now. And if we were still not convinced, your words you did not mince when you charged us to endure hardness because the war is on. As you have done for us in your own words, we do for you. As this has been your testimony that God has not forgotten you. And God will take care of you. Reverend Noteman, you are blessed beyond measure. And to us, you are a priceless treasure. To celebrate you tonight is our distinct honor and pleasure. We salute your person and your personality. And may the warm glow of the presence of Almighty God overshadow and surround you continually. We truly, truly, truly love you. Wow, mighty God. In a poem, we have just about everything from beginning to end. Glory to God. Put your hands together again for exhorted Keisha Stewart. Keep those out, um, applaud going. Keep them going. Missionary Rocker Stewart that did the introduction. And we'll understand. He'll understand by the voices of inspiration just before. Exhort us, Stuart. We give God thanks for those three items. Are you being blessed so far? Again, point your hands at her and say, Bless our Lord. Come on, bless our Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. I just want you to welcome our co founder, our first lady to do the first reflection for Minister Isilda Noteman. Put your hands together and make Minister Dr. Petrova Davis welcome as she do the reflection for Minister Noteman. Thank you very much. Minister Isilda Noteman, altruistic, Selfless, respectful, dedicated, reliable, loyal, hardworking, genuine, trustworthy, versatile, thoughtful, optimistic, gracious, confidential, tenacious, caring, strong, dependable woman of God. She is always resplendent, elegant, and modestly in, modest in her attire, a true example of a virtuous woman has outlined in Proverbs 31. The word of the Lord declares in Isaiah 57, Isaiah 52 and verse 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that said unto Zion, thy God reigneth. Hebrews 6 and verse 10. Minister, I still the note man. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which he have showed towards his name, in that he have ministered to the saints and do minister. This ministry celebrated 40 years in April 2023. And you were there from day one, Minister Noteman. I remember clearly on Saturday, the 23rd of April, 1983, as preparations were being made for the revival to commence on Sunday, 
the 24th of April, 1993. 1983. You were present, praise God, you were present assisting with the cleaning and arranging of the chairs and all other work that your hands find to do. You have never ceased to be a very commit to be very committed to whatever the task that was required of you. You were among the prior workers. You were a devotion leader. You became an assistant Sunday school superintendent, serving along with myself, being the first Sunday school superintendent of the Power of Faith Ministries. When I approached you and I asked you to work along with me as the assistant superintendent, there was no hesitation. You opened your heart and gladly received the commitment. We work together tirelessly, and I give God thanks for you this evening. Praise God. Then you became the superintendent. You were also at one, at one time the Power of Faith Basic School principal. Your first ministerial credential appointment was to an evangelist, then a licensed minister, to an ordained minister, then to become the senior assistant pastor of the headquarters church right here. Praise God. Portmore. And a full-time employee where you served in various areas as the needs exist. You have worked assiduously, unreservedly, without checking time. Whatever the requests were, you were always ready to do or go. Whether it be house prayer meetings, hospital visits, home visits, we have done many of such together. Praise God. You have run well. And it will take much for someone else to fit your shoe. Your shoe is going to be a challenge. We have worked together in all areas of ministry. And I find you to be one of a kind. You have shared First Wednesday's fasting over the many years with myself. And God, am I go have I missed you with all of my heart? I missed you dearly. Praise God. Together, what joy it was to partner with you. You have been very respectful, very supported, and very understanding. You are very dear and special to me. I love you. I will always need you, and I certainly appreciate you. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 58. Therefore, my beloved minister, I sealed a note, man. Be he steadfast, unmovable, always continue to abound in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know, your labor is not in vain in the Lord. I know whatever you are still able to do, you will do it with all of your heart. Payday will come when the pearly gates unfold. Ecclesiastic 9 and verse 11a. The wise man said, I return and I saw under the sun that the race is not for the swift, nor the battle for the strong. And we add to it, but to them that endure to the end. Fight on, warrior. No retreat. 
no defeat, no surrender. I ask us to stand, put our hands together and salute the woman of God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You have been the closest in this congregation to me. We have shared glory to God. I love you from the depth of my heart. Minister, I seal the note, man. Long life. God continue to add to you many more years as you continue to hold the fort. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. right now mighty God the complete package and you would have heard it from no better person than the co-founder of this ministry speaking from her heart please give minister Davis another round for me thank you thank you thank you ma'am thank you so very much for that glory to God just Please bear with us. Hallelujah. At this time, we'll be having the audiovisual presentation for Minister Noteman. And you'll hear a little more from her. Please go ahead. Immediately after will be the silent worshiper. Thank you. Thank you. 
I still the note man. I, were, I was born on the 5th of June, 1952, in the parish of Senton. Mother and father, Herbert and Ivy, Ivy Ray. Uh, leave St. John, a little bush girl, way up in the country, leave from there to town. And I have been here giving God thanks, not, not that I got saved when I just come to town, but I don't think I was a person that roamed mm -hmm. all over mm -hmm. town. Uh, I started to attend a little church in Chisholm Avenue. Mm. So surprising when I heard my bishop talk about Chisholm oh, Avenue. Yeah. You know, I was wondering if it's the same church that I used to go, but I'm not too sure. Thank God I'm here today because God kept me. God kept it's, not a, a, it's not that I have done anything good why the Lord kept me, but he knows why. Yes. What God is doing, I don't know. Jesus. But I thank him Jesus. for what he has been doing. Glory I have six children, mm. six children, two boys, and four girls. Mm. Well, as I said, got married. I didn't have any children out of wedlock. Okay, great. All, all of them was in the marriage. Mm -hmm. And the first one was a boy. Second mm. one was a boy. And I remember I told God, I said, God, if you give me a girl, Jesus. because it was two boys. And I said, God, if you give, when I found out that I was pregnant again, I said, God, if you give me a girl, I'll serve you for the rest, rest of, of my life. life. Jesus. And the third one was a girl. Oh, beautiful. The third one was a girl. Almighty you God dance. And I made a vow, and I will not break it under God. Jesus. I'm going to keep this vow. Yes. I have this scripture that I love so much, and I know you love it because I often hear you quote it in your, in your ministry, and it's Jeremiah 1, yes. verse 5. And it says, before I formed yes. thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Glory to God. Minister, I seal the note, man, you have inspired us, quite a lot of us. And we give God thanks that you were there from the beginning with our founders. And I just want you to remind us, Minister Isil, the note man, about that special prayer oh that God. you and others prayed oh for God. our founders, Bishop Davis and Minister Davis, to return as your pastor. I just want you to bring us back to that prayer, Minister Noteman. Yes, ma'am. I love them dearly to my heart. Jesus. I started with Bishop even before you got married. Oh gosh. I started with him in the in, in the bush. Oh. We used to go to a little church in the bush. And I was there before he got married. A long time. And long time. And it happens that Bishop have to leave. And I couldn't take it. Jesus. I could not I can't understand imagine. it. I can't imagine. Bishop have to leave. Mm. God Almighty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we get together, myself and Evangelist Barrett. Yes. Other persons might have prayed. Not, well, not might. We're Other persons praying. have prayed. Mm -hmm. And myself and me, Evangelist Barrett come to my home. Your home. We wow. gather days upon days in wow. fasting and prayer. Wow. Wow. Asking God by name to send Bishop Davis back to us. On the behalf of my wife and myself, Reverend Nootman, we're surely going to miss you. But we give God thanks for you. Your call to the poor feet for such a time like this. 
and God know if it was for strength, you would be you would be yourself. But it's not you don't have the strength. So God bless you for what the Lord have you to do, and we continue to pray for you because you need the strength. God bless you. For we didn't want to retire, but because of certain circumstance, that's why you we retire. God bless you. Don't sit at home, though. Please don't sit at home. Keep yourself active. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. God. Had it not been that Bishop Davis came back to us, maybe I wouldn't be within this circle. Oh, God. Maybe I no. would have strayed and oh, gone. Jesus. Thank maybe you, I would Lord. have stepped over my Oh, bones. Jesus. Cry. Oh, God. We weep. We pass. And oh it's God. not one day, it's God. not two days. Jesus. Sometimes I'll end up my bed bottom. Jesus. I am mm. crying out to, to a God. God. Jesus. Back Bishop mighty Davis God. As our pastor. Mm. God heard. Look what the Lord has God done. God heard. heard. And yeah. God sent him right back. back. Mighty God, I am grateful Thank for you, that prayer. Holy Minister, of God, you are many so of us. Awesome. Today, we're so grateful for that obedience oh because not only is he blessing you, oh but he's blessing so many you, my God. of us, and we you give know, God thanks. You know, from, from my heart, I'm speaking the truth. Jesus, yes. Benches Look here. And all of that. Those in the benches, give yes. God praise. Jesus. That's God, you had answered our, our prayer. prayer. And look at it. My God. Myself and Mother Barrett, and the first place it dropped was beside Mother Barrett. Oh, yeah. The ten drop. Wow. And the second place, the ten come was beside, beside my you. Beside you. Oh, my on, God. Man. Come on. Come on. The come man on. Was right beside Your house. my house. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, you are a God is real. God. Mm. Hey, you mm. are real. Mm. Yeah. And that's what I think I am honored to be able to say in something about Minister Icelander Noteman. Unknown to her, I have watched her with careful eyes serving in the body of Christ. And there are some qualities that I have admired in minister, I said that no man. Minister, no man. She's humble, trustworthy, confidential, responsive, dedicated, respectful, faithful in the service God has given to her. And I really want to thank God the day that he had blessed the body of Christ with such a wonderful woman as Minister Isilda Noteman. I have learned so much from her. And I thank God I was able to work along with her also. And there had never been a dull moment. I just want to give God all the praise. Mm. Glory to God. We will continue. Silent worship is coming at this time. Hallelujah. To do their ministry. Glory to God. Put your hands together and make them welcome. The silent worshiper. Glory to God. Now you know we're going to sing, no surprises. Thank you. 
glory, glory, glory to God. The Lord bless her and keep minister. I still the note man. Thank you so very much, silent worshiper. Please put your hands together for them. Thank you very much. Glory to God. Our second selection, time of reflection, will be coming to Minister Noteman from none other than Reverend Charming Sutton from our Goshen Assembly. Please put your hands together for Reverend Sutton as she come to do reflection for Minister Noteman. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. Shall we bless the Lord? Praise God to our founders, Apostle Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis, Reverend Petrova Davis, Assistant General Overseer Bishop Howard Grandison, our celebrant for this evening, Reverend Isilda Nootman Sr., Assistant Pastor, all other bishops and pastors, ministers, Members, viewers, and praise God, viewers, greetings in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Reflection for Reverend Isil the Noteman. Praise God. As we gather here this evening to reflect on a wonderful woman of God, Reverend Isil the Noteman's years of service to the Lord and the position of senior assistant pastor. I deem it an honor to share in this momentous occasion. The Apostle Paul in 1 Timothy 5 verse 17 says, Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in word and in teaching. Over the years, you have been a pillar of strength for the congregation. Your unwavering faith and your ability to inspire those around you have left an indelible mark on me. And I am sure all of us can say the same thing this evening. Watching you serve through the years, I can liken you to the woman of Proverbs 31, a virtuous woman. I have watched you set about your work vigorously. Your arms were strong for your tax, according to Proverbs 31 and verse 17. I remember when you were the Sunday school superintendent, and I was your assistant. I was late for, for Sunday school the very first day. I was to assume duty. And, and just like Proverbs 31, 26 declares, you open your mouth and on your tongue was the law of kindness. I was corrected. I was corrected. Praise God. But in the gentlest way possible and with love. Reverend Noteman, Reverend Noteman, you are a woman who loved to pray. For many times I would come into this church, maybe not this, I would come into this church and you would be inside praying like Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 1 because you know the worth of prayer. You are a mother not just to your biological children, but for many others. You are a counselor. You are always ready to listen and offer a word of encouragement. If you happen to talk to Reverend Noteman, that conversation would not end without she giving you a quote from the Bible, a scripture verse. That's how much she loves the Lord, the word. You are always modestly attired. Praise God. Always very 
mindful how you how you attire yourself and how you behave yourself always very mindful and that's a woman of god we have gathered to honor you for all that your hands have done and it is indeed your work that praises you in 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 Denibli, life is like a series of chapters. And I believe that this transition is part of a larger narrative that God is unfolding in your life. While I will miss you, miss your presence in the capacity of the assistant pastor, I believe that God has incredible plans for you in the most chapter of your journey in the next chapter of your journey as you embark on this new season please carry with you my love and prayers your impact have been profound and i am grateful for the seeds of faith hope and love that you have planted within our hearts May God's grace continue to guide you and sustain you in all your endeavors. Reverend Isilda Nootman, a virtuous woman. And that's why we have to go by Proverbs. Proverbs 6. I know that's one, another one of your favorite yes, scripture. Yes, Verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding what verse 6 says in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path glory to god and that's what we have to do and that's what you did acknowledge god and let him direct and we thank him i just want you to tell me minister while you mentioned that and they come back and they were obedient and we're seeing the fruit and feeling the fruit of what you all did. I want you to tell us the impact that it has had on, had on you and oh your God. family's oh life God. throughout the oh. journey. That's oh 40 years. 40, 40, oh, mighty yeah. God. From the very first day the 10 pitch, mm -hmm. it was a service. It, it just pitch and we, we setting Pray. out the benches. Jesus. From Jesus. the very first day I was oh, here. Oh, glory and to I God. Almighty God. Thanks. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I have proven his servants that they are leaders good indeed. leaders good leaders it impact my life so much mm -hmm. just to say just to say mm -hmm. cutting back that when it come by mother barrett mm -hmm. she was storing the music jesus when it come by me mm -hmm. and me are storing the music in a family house oh jesus ah, oh my god my god oh my god my husband did never Problem with Jesus, it. Jesus, so Jesus. So your ministry made me to be what I am today. today. Yes, yes. Had it yes. not been Please for the power of faith, oh God. I don't know where I would be. Thank you, what Jesus. What would come of me? My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But I just want to thank God. Mm. Thank God. That's why God speak to him and tell him yes. to come back to come Jamaica back. and come, come, back. Up, come up poor come more. Back. Jesus, Jesus. Because souls were dying. Mm. I just want to say to Minister Isilda Noteman that you're going to greatly miss. You have always been my closest ally, my confidant, my mentor, my spiritual advisor. And certainly gonna miss you and I know I can always reach you because I know you're reachable may God continue to bless and keep you and continue to be that blessing that you has always been and continue to be that people's person that you are love you minister note man love you love you love you God bless you I Many. remember when when he was in the, the little bush there that we were having service, I remember he said, Jesus. some of you that are here, when well, want to backslide, Jesus. But you can't, can't backslide, backslide. Because when you hear my voice in your in ears, your ears uh, regular. And when I was searching to find a ministry, I feel like I would give up. My God. But I couldn't backslide. Oh God. God Bishop Vice in, in your ears, ears. Thank with the you, word. Jesus. Thank you, and Jesus. And here I am after 40 years.
you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Sweet God is you. awesome, minister. God is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful out of, out of your life. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. Beautiful. beautiful. And it's not you alone. Good. Glory. Good. Yes, minister. Hi. And so we want you to know, Minister Noteman, that we, we are standing by you. And so that as your step is so ordered by the Lord, certainly, I pray God's grace continue to shower you and to keep you. And I want you to know that God have a new beginning for you and your family. And I want to say to you, Minister Noman, that the values that you have shown, it is far above silver, gold, or silver. And as the word of God said, you shall be planted like a tree by the rivers of water. And it doesn't matter what season comes, your leaf will not be withered. I pray your strength as you go forward, that God will continue to sustain you with his sustaining grace, and that God will continue to keep you in his perfect peace. The peace of God will continue to embrace you as you take this new chapter in your life. Again, on the behalf of myself and missionary Joy Brown, we give you all the love of our hearts. That glory, glory to God. We will continue. Hallelujah. Just wave those hands in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We truly give God thanks for his grace and mercies for our dearest Minister Noteman. At this time, we'll be getting the choir ministry from the United Voices. United Voices, and immediately after United Voices, our Bishop, Dr. Howard James Grandison, our Assistant General Overseer, he will be giving greetings and acknowledgement from the local assemblies. So immediately after the United Voices, please receive Bishop, Dr. Howard Grandison. Put your hands together for the United Voices. Choir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sean, just want you to know she's not only your mom, she's my mom too. We love her. Hallelujah. You've come
President, founders, Apostle Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, and the First Lady, Reverend Dr. Petrova Davis, are the distinguished members of the clergy. Hallelujah, esteemed guests, brothers and sisters in Christ. I greet you well and be off at the local assemblies of the PFM. Grove Road, Goshen, Utfield, Knightsville, and Bagwalk. It is with great joy, yet a touch of bittersweet emotion, that we gather here today to this evening to celebrate and express our deep appreciation for the remarkable service and the dedication of our retiring minister. As we stand on the threshold of bidding farewell to a leader who has given selflessly to the growth and development of the Power Faith Ministries International, as the Holy Spirit worked through her, she has served with unwavering faith and commitment for the past 40 years. I feel particularly honored to be given the charge to greet you, ma'am, today as Minister Noteman. And I were, both of us were both baptized in the same service in 1977 and have served together in several capacities within the ministry. It is therefore only fitting that we take a moment to reflect on the profound impact she has had on our spiritual journey. There throughout the years, Reverend Minister Isilda Noteman has been a beacon of light, illuminating the part of righteousness with grace, humility, and an unshakable devotion to the teaching of our Lord. Her leadership has been characterized by compassion, wisdom, and an enduring love for the flock she has so ably assisted in shepherding. Under her guidance, our congregation at Power Faith Ministries headquarters and branch churches have flourished and the seed of faith she planted have blossomed into a garden of spiritual richness which are the hallmark of the church. In the many good times, Minister Nothman has been a source of inspiration, offering words of encouragement that resonate with the truth of God's love. During moments of challenge and adversity, she has been a steadfast pillar of strength to those whom she serves. She has a gentle hand and a heart filled with empathy through the sermons, teachings, and 
pastoral care. She has touched the lives of countless individuals, fostering a sense of community that extend far beyond the wall of the church. As we bid farewell to our beloved clergywoman, let us not dwell and the sadness of parting, but instead let us celebrate the enduring legacy she leaves behind. May we carry forward the lessons of faith, compassion, and service that she has imp imparted and the difference she has made. Let us remember that the seed of love she planted in our hearts will continue to grow and bear fruit for generations to come. Reverend Minister Iselden Notman, we express our deepest gratitude for your tireless service, your unwavering faith, and the countless ways in which you have enriched our lives. We thank you, ma'am. As you enter this new chapter in your journey, may you be surrounded by the love of God. And may his blessing continue to guide and sustain you. May your well-deserved retirement be filled with peace and support that, per that surpasses all understanding. And may you be filled with joy in the knowledge that your legacy will forever be hedged in the hearts of those you have faithfully served. May the God of hope fill you. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, according to Romans 15 and verse 13. God bless you, Minister, Reverend Isilda Noteman. And may your retirement be a reflection of the love and grace you have shared with us throughout the years. We salute you, ma'am. We salute you. Somebody help me salute her. We salute you, God's servant. Heaven bless you. Heaven bless you, woman of God. I remember those years. When we went into the baptismal pool together. Lord have his mercy. Come on put your hands together for God's servant. Our prayers. Our prayers are with you. Continue to live. And may God richly bless you is our cry there is a sister there's a sister who used to come to this church she lives in the states now she called someone from the bagwalk assembly and said kindly give your bishop this to give to minister noteman just a little touch
your partner in the work with you, Bishop Grandison. Place that into your care. And I'm sure that these other men from the other lo local church, they will make their own presentation. Come on, somebody, put your hands together and give God a praise. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, my sister. God bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just clap those hands for the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank you, United Voices that came before. And thank you so very much, Bishop Grandison. Glory to God. At this time, I want you to put your hands together as we have a special selection from our combined PFMI groups. Please make them welcome at this time. Glory to God. And immediately after our combined group is finished, we will be having a video presentation from Bishop Michael Hutchinson, our divisional overseer representing PFMI USA and Canada. Please receive that in that Amen. order. Thank you. times we have gone through so much and we have experienced God through our challenges and our going throughs whatever we go through God is good and always there and I'm sure Minister Noteman can testify with this song she has been through too much to know God is enough
Yes, minister. Yes, minister. Yes, minister. Glory to God. Minister, this is my final question. Yes, ma'am. And for your charge as well. Yes, ma'am. We know you're preparing for the next chapter. You're retiring from active the office of the senior assistant pastor at Power Faith Ministry. You have served well. You have served in many different other departments along the journey to senior assistant pastor. I want you to just remind us of all those departments that you have served in. And I also want you to give us your encouraging word. What would have kept you thus far? <laughs> just give us your encouraging word, Minister Noteman, as you move to your next chapter. Thank God. I never know that all of this would happen to me. Jesus. As I said, I come from St. Anne Bush. Oh my God. So I, I never know that Your all, of this, all of this would have happened to me. Mm. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it really take me way beyond. Mm. When I look at what the Lord has, has done. done, it bring praises, it bring joy. All right? We mm. are limited. Yes, ma'am. Mm. I, I started from the tent. Mm -hmm. And prayer worker, evangelist, missionary Sunday school superintendent, come back here working in the office. office yes. I serve yes. as the, the, the supervisor yes. for those I work with. Yes. And today, it brought me now to senior assistant. Wow. Me? Wow. Me? Look what the Lord oh, has done. Hallelujah. God in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Mom, I admire your strength. You are my source of encouragement, my greatest motivation. I love you more than words can say. You have been my tower, my rock. You are there whenever I need you. It doesn't matter what time, it doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter when. You are always there. You are the greatest woman I know, the strongest woman with the most kindest heart and a peaceful soul. I hope that everything happens greatly for you and God does not take his hands off you. I wish you everything that your heart desire. My love for you continues. Love you, Mom, with all that I have. Mwah. Hi, Mommy. Just want to let you know that I love you. I appreciate you. I love you unconditionally. If I could turn the clock on the hands of time, I wouldn't change anything for the world. I would choose you again to be my mother over and over. I know you are strict and you will forever be strict but that is what curves us into the person that we are today. You have taught us manners, you have taught us to be respectful and we love you. Uh, I know sometimes you, you get grumpy but no matter what I will always love you. We will give you care more. No, we don't say eye to eye on a lot of things, but you supported me for a lot of things, and your support brought me far, far, far away, although I might not admit it a lot of times, but it's your strict upbringing and your strong faith that brought me far. Thank you so much for that. And I will always be in your corner, just like you have always been in my corner. Well, I love you, Grandma. We appreciate you. I would say to all those that are working for the Lord, mm. yes. Be encouraged, yes. yes. Don't give up toiling, yes. Don't give up working. Payday will come Jesus. when the pearly gates will unfold. One songwriter said, "Oh, to be his arms extended, reaching out to the oppressed." Yes. Let me. Touch you, God. I am. Let me touch you so that others may know 
and be blessed. Be blessed. We want to touch God so somebody can see Christ within us. We not do not for ourselves. We are doing it for, for others. God. Greetings and acknowledgement to Reverend Isilda Notman. I bring you greetings on behalf of my wife, Minister Patricia Hutchinson, and our children. Minister Isilda Notman, you have been a tower of strength to the Power of Faith Ministries International over the years. You took your assignment with seriousness. You demonstrate soundness and spiritual maturity in the way how you live, communicate, and conduct yourself. You have been a peacemaker, and you demonstrate loving care and compassion to people. Certainly, you are a people person. You are able to see the needs of people, even by them not letting you know. And you have always extended yourself to assist in alleviating the suffering of others. You have always demonstrated a level of humility, never aggressive, but firm on the principles of the word of God. You are a nurturer, and you always see the best in people, even when it is not shown. Moses' meekness comes to mind as I think about you. Matthew's gospel comes to mind when I think about the inheritance of the meek, knowing that you indeed have an inheritance. Thank you for holding up the hands of our leaders as Joshua and Ur did. Your soft touch causes people to want to give more of themselves to the work of the Lord. God has truly blessed you with mediation skills that brought peace in many situations and averted situations from blowing out of proportion. Thank you for spending time with us in Florida. Thank you for your faithfulness. We thank the Lord for you. All of us can indeed join together to say that you have truly been a God sent blessing to us and to the PFMI. And we appreciate you very much. We value your worth and we value your work. I want to say to you right now, may God bless you. May God keep you. May his face continue to shine upon you. May his grace overshadow you. And may you fulfill that which he has called you to. Our prayers continually be with you and we will not stop now. May God bless you and strengthen you. Bishop Michael Hutchinson, Divisional Overseer, North American Churches. God bless you. Bye-bye. Hebrews 6 and verse 10 says, God is not unrighteous to forget your love and your labor, your work that you have shown towards him and towards the saints and you continue to show. It gives me great pleasure to be a part of this appreciation service for the Reverend Isilda Noteman. And on behalf of the Power of Faith Ministries Brooklyn Assembly, I want to say congratulations to Minister Noteman. This is a recognition that is well deserved and we truly thank God for you and the work that you have done. Even in Brooklyn Power of Faith, you have served here for a period of time, you know, a transitional period. And we thank God for the stability that you have brought to the ministry. Your work is not unnoticed. You are a firm disciplinarian, yet you are loving and kind and patient and gentle. And every person who will come in contact with you can attest to that. One of the things that stand out about you, Minister Notman, is your humility and respect. As an assistant pastor, you have been so dedicated. You have been extremely humble and very respectful, and we thank God for that. So, in this short time I have, I want to say God bless you, wish for you all the very best, and we want you to know that your work is well appreciated. We love you, we appreciate you, and we need you. Who taught me a lot of things in Christian faith? Is a strong woman of God. Is a woman with strength. Is a woman of dignity. Is a woman of care. She is a woman who loves God and love Bishop and Minister Davis. I can remember 
we go from time to time to Bagwak, Trinityville. We went to Bagwak, Evelyn, and it was a special um, meeting down there. And Mr. Noteman was in charge at the service at headquarters that Sunday evening. So we were trying to make up time to return back to headquarters. And um, coming on the highway there, the police say, stop us. And minister says, Deacon, we go in prayer. We go in prayer. And God go and deliver you from any situation. And he says, he's going to give me a ticket. He didn't give me a fat ticket. I took out him book and started to write. And I said, sir, believe you me, we are short, we are time borrow time because we have to go back to our church. He said, which church? And I said, um, poor faith in Portmore. He said, then why you never say that? You should say that. And he says, you know something? I'm not going to give you a ticket, you know. But when you go to church, you pray for me and let the ministers pray for me. I know, man, me and the half of me, Eric Jones, and Deaconess Gloria Jones, we have our heart and our thought on you, ma'am. We thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Glory to God. Wow. We are truly appreciating Minister Notman. Just clap your hands for her. Clap your hands for her. She deserves the very best. Is that amen? Glory to God. We truly give God thanks for you, Minister Notman. We do love and appreciate you. We're coming down nicely. Coming down, coming down. At this time, we're going to be having the choir ministry of the Echoes of Faith. But before they come, I just want to thank Bishop Hutchinson, who came earlier, as well as the special combined singing group. We give God thanks for you. The Echoes of Faith is coming, and Im Im immediately after them, we will be having the drama presentation from Anointed Persuaders Drama Group. Please put your hands together and receive the Echoes of Faith ministry. Thank you.
said, remember the time A missionary came to your church His pictures made you cry Oh, you didn't have much money But you gave it anyway Jesus took the gifts you gave And that's why
you. Bless the name of Jesus. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Bless the name of Jesus. This is Grace, you see, standing here. Grace is standing here. I am testifying tonight of God's goodness and his mercies towards me. You know, sometimes I found myself in some storm-like situation where I felt as if I just could not make it. Persons actually gave up on me. But I've learned to fight the storm of life. I've fought defeat. I've fought anger. I've fought brokenness. I've fought, I've fought persecution. But guess what? I'm still standing tonight. Many of you, you are down there. And you are fighting secret battles that no one knows about. Tears fall. But when you come out in the public, you smile. Because we have learned to smile through our storms. Bless the name of Jesus. I don't want you to sit down there on your testimony, you know. I want you to get up and testify of God's goodness. And tonight to give a very powerful testimony is the woman of God. She has graced the stage many times. She spoke about the undiluted word of God. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not about me tonight. It's about her. And I want you to help me welcome the woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you know, that I was maybe about eight months now, was admitted in the university hospital. Praise God. Not knowing nothing. Not knowing nobody. My relatives come around me. I don't know them. Because I was gone. Gone. But thank God I was not alone. God was with me as a mighty, terrible one. Hallelujah. Ah, they might have passed me dead. But see me here, I'm walking. I'm alive. I'm alive because of Jesus Christ. Hey, oh glory. Hallelujah. Woman of God. Hey. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I've been battered, bruised, and torn, but I'm still here. Some days my life. It was filled with fear Oh, but I'm still here So many times I had to fight Just to stay To stay in the right I have failed So many, many, many times Oh, but I'm I had many disappointments, but I am still here. There were days when I thought I would not make it, oh, but I'm still here. Lord, for your joy, they can't compare. Storms of sickness, storms of trial, oh, oh, oh but I'm still here. Do I have a survivor tonight? I've been abused and misused. I am still here. 
persecuted and accused. Oh, 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 but I, 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 I am still here. Lord, it's such joy, such joy to know that your love has kept me so. I'm still here. your seats. <laughs> I'm making this video today in regards to my grandmother, Isola Notman, who is retiring from her position as pastor. If I was to describe my grandmother, I would say that she is a firm, a firm, I'm going to say firm, firm believer in God. And she is very kind and strong and 
she is just she she's a force to be reckoned with you know she she has been through a lot but she's still pushing her way through like i remember last summer when i was i was down in jamaica because like right now i'm not really there but yeah i was there and daddy told us that you know she just recently came out of the hospital right and she was really bad in the hospital like bad but you know she was out and stuff so daddy said you know we're going to look for her so when we went around there you know we caught up and stuff it's been a while since i've spoken to her and you know one of the things that stick with me is that every time that i speak to this woman she she always encourages me like she encourages me and my relationship with the lord like I could be talking about school and she's just like, yes, baby, do your thing, do your work, you know, mash it up, match it up, all of that. And trust God, always trust God. And that has been such an inspiration for me. She has been a good, a good role model, you know, someone to look up to and someone to help guide you when you need that guidance. And with that being said, she has been a great pastor. I know that she's loved by many and she will be missed by many. But, but, her good deeds and her works in the church will not be forgotten. And I also know that just because she's retiring from her position does not mean that she's retired. You know? Yeah, you know? She's not, she's not retired. She's not done. She's not done until the Lord says she is, you know, and he calls her home. So I know that just because she's retiring from her position as pastor, she will still be spreading the word of the Lord and she will still be praising him all day, every day. I just wish her a happy and good retirement and I pray that she will continue her journey with the Lord. I am glory to God and God has keep it. We are responsible and we are answerable. Let us do our best yes, that so. God can be pleased yes. and that God will is done. As the songwriter said, not my will, but, but thy will be done, be done, dear Jesus. Jesus. Let the same prayer be, be mine, mine every day. Jesus, every this day. robe of, of flesh it. that I wear. Mm, it makes me falter at times, yes, so. but guide my steps, hold, hold my hand all the way. Jesus, glory, glory, glory to God. Just wave those hands in the presence of the Lord. Just wave those hands in the presence of the Lord. God is truly amazing. We have to give him thanks. When we roll back the curtain and look what the Lord has done, mighty God. I remember the Sunday morning when Bishop got up and said, pray. We need to pray for Minister Noteman. Many would have given up on him and her glory to God, but God. And because she knew our creator that well, and she has a praying church, look what the Lord has done. Glory, glory to God. At this time, we will be doing a different presentation to Minister Noteman. I'm going to be asking Missionary Carby and Sister Anne Marie to come with the citation while Ministers Duffus Grant and Nicolene Stevenson will be doing the reading for us of a special citation that is done from the ministry for Minister Noteman's journey. Glory to God.
bless the Lord. Hebrews 6 verse 10 declares, For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Reverend Isilda Noteman became a part of the Power of Faith Ministers family in April 1983 and has been serving the Lord wholeheartedly from the beginning under the brown tent, then to the board church, and now at the Miracle Cathedral. Over the years, you have displayed true courage, endured hardness as a good soldier, and embraced a confident hope of triumph. You have been very faithful in carrying out your duties as you are always determined to win the battle at any cost. You are driven by your allegiance to your God, to your family, and to your country. You have remained fearless in your pursuit of the kingdom of righteousness. From the inception of the ministry, you have been ably assisting our bishop and his wife, Apostle Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis, the founders of this wonderful ministry, and the PFM Church family, giving your all to the building and growth of the ministry. Your dedication in service as a prayer worker, Sunday school superintendent, missionary, evangelist, licensed minister, and ordained minister paved the way for your appointment as the senior assistant pastor for the headquarters church. The Lord ordained this ministerial assignment, and thanks be to God, you have served well. We could not overlook your involvement in the daily operations of the administrative office as your contribution to the operations, the prayers, the encouragement, the counseling, among other duties, were very important to the efficiency of the ministry. We truly appreciate your unfaltering support and boundless dedication to the ideals and aspirations of your visionary leaders and founders. Your selfless devotion to the cause of Christ has not only enriched our lives, but has also ignited a beacon of hope for countless individuals whose futures are now brighter. First Kings 8, 23 declares, O Lord, the God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth beneath, keeping covenant and showing loving kindness to your servants who walk before you with all their heart. As a volunteer in the army of the Lord, a dedicated servant leader, you are commissioned for eternity. You will either retire at the Lord's return or die in this army. But you will not get out, sell out, be talked out, or be pushed out. In 2 Timothy 4 verse 5, Paul shows the charge and the challenge of ministry that provided Timothy with an opportunity to display his character. As for you, always be sober-minded, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. Throughout the years, you have been sober-minded, dependable, and vigilant in preaching the undiluted gospel. Reverend Noteman, undeniably, you are truly a woman of worth who has been planted firmly by the life-giving springs of water, earnestly desiring to be clothed with righteousness. In your sojourn with the Lord, you have demonstrated the qualities that depict and embody someone who has truly embraced sound doctrine. We have seen the way you preach the undiluted gospel with passion and power. No wonder this is so. With songs such as, Great is thy faithfulness, 
And I have a friend, a precious friend. Oh, how he loves me. As the driving force in your Christian life, your testimony is a beam to the world. With almost half a century in service to the Lord, you are not tired or easily discouraged. Indeed, if you were given the opportunity to start again, we are sure you would seize it in a moment. You possess a genuine disposition, a woman of excellence and integrity, no matter what you face. You always have an encouraging word coupled with a smile. You're still preaching your sermons in the smallest of ways. So continue to work while it is day. The night comes when no man can work. The good soldier finishes his course because he knows that at the end of the war, the commander in chief will reward him. For those who stay in this Christian battle, there will come a glad day of blessing and you will hear the Lord say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. We truly love and appreciate you and we pray that you will remain steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. As Jabez prayed in 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10, our prayer is that the Lord will continue to bless you, enlarge your territory, and his hand be with you to guide you throughout the rest of your journey and keep you from harm. Reverend Isilda Noteman, the gospel is never adorned any more beautiful than when women of the Lord love work and serve faithfully in his work thank you for your tireless labor and faithful service in the ministry we will miss you and your hard work dedication and commitment but we know that you have invested much and as such we will continue the work that you have started continue to run the race with patience and do the work of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Great will be your reward if you faint not. We love you and, and celebrate your person, your passion, and your personality. God bless you. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ministers for that citation. I'm going to be asking Deaconess Charm Campbell and Missionary Sonia Williamson to come with the gift. Glory to God. Minister Noteman, Minister Davis, and the others would have mentioned your dependability, your reliability, just about all the key adjectives for you. A true soldier in the army of God. And we truly love and appreciate you and we give God thanks for you. We're going to ask you to stand again. Glory to God. I know you're a part of a growing ministry. Even though you're retiring, you're still a part of us. And as I see it, you have always been blessed from many different corners. So I know being a part of Power of Faith Ministry, Minister Noteman, you will be continued. We will always remember you. We will always remember you. So on behalf of Bishop Davis, Minister Davis, and all the Power of Faith family members, we just want to present this little token to you just to let you know how much we love and appreciate you. And we pray that God will continue to bless, strengthen, and keep you in the aloe palm of his hands. We love you, Minister Notman. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to God. We're going to be asking the praise team to come 
We are now going to be participating in giving, doing our love gift collection. Is that amen? amen. Come on, man. Is that amen? amen? I know this is a time when we all will be participating. Glory to God. I'm going to be asking the ushers to come at this time. Glory to God. We're going to be doing two collections. One, we will be doing that love gift that we have. And remember, there was the envelope. And what was written on the envelope again? Tell me. Come on, I didn't hear that. Great. On that special envelope is, we love you. Glory to God. At this time, I'm going to be asking Minister Michael Smith to bless the love gift that is coming. And I know there may be the others that will have your normal offering. You can do one giving and at the end of it, we will do our separation. Glory to God. I'm going to ask you to stand at this time. Just stand to your feet and let us bless the love gift as well as the evening's offering. Minister Smith. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Eternal Father, we're eternally grateful that we can come together in this fashion, Almighty God, to celebrate, O oh great God Almighty, the gift to your kingdom in no other form than Reverend Isilda Noteman, who you have given to this ministry, Lord, and she has served in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for a very long time, Lord, giving of her best. We have come to this point, great God, where our Bishop and Minister David see and found it fit to honor her. God, we join together in honoring the work that she has done in the mighty name of Jesus for your kingdom and the impact, O oh God, that she has created on many of us who, great God, Almighty, would have joined this ministry after her. And so, Lord God, we continue to place her in your divine hands because we know that, Lord, once she's in your hands, no one can pluck her out. Continue, great God, to lift her up, to direct her path, to equip her, to empower her in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, Lord, we place her in your hands continuously, continuously, continually. Oh, great God, for you continue to bless her. And so, Lord, as we are about to, oh, great God Almighty, participate in this feast of giving, I pray right now, Lord God Almighty, as you have given us the ability to give, the resources back to your kingdom, great God Almighty, for the furtherance of your work. That you'll bless the gift and you'll bless the givers right now. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that every hand that is stretched forth to give, Lord, that in the name of Jesus Christ there'll be no shortage in their food basket. But great God Almighty, you continue to supply their needs according to your riches and glory. Bless the gifts. Bless the givers. And we thank you, Almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You may have your seats and you will come down as the norm that we would give our offering coming from the front of the church through the two corner aisle and you go back through the center so you can begin. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. 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 What a mighty God we, we serve. serve. What a mighty God we serve.
of glory by and by glory to God just wave those hands glory to God yes we're doing very nicely and we're almost there at this time thank you so very much for participating in the love gift and offering thank you at this time we're going to be having the ministry of voices of triumph our final choir and immediately after them, please stand and receive our founder, our apostle, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis. But at this time, kindly receive the ministry of Voices of Triumph. And when they are finished, you will stand and receive our bishop. God bless you. Thank you.
Please be seated. Bishop Dr. Howard James Grandison, Assistant General Overseer, Pastor of the Bog Walk Assembly, Bishop Glenroy Sutton and wife of the Goshen at Field Assemblies, Pastor Clement Logan and his wife, Knightsville Assembly, uh, let me just save all of that by saying all the distinguished ministers, pastors, elders, your wives, and certainly our special celebrant here tonight, Minister I sealed the notes, man. Yes. The program calls upon me to preach a message. So put on your seatbelt for the next two hours. Don't worry about that. I wish I was asked to give the vote of thanks. That would have been a wonderful thing for me. But I want to give God thanks for this stalwart of the faith, Minister Isilda Notman. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, she has distinguished herself in many areas of leadership in this ministry. And you'd have heard Pastor Layla from the Brooklyn Assembly alluded to the fact that she even spent, I think, six weeks in the, that's it, six weeks in the Brooklyn Assembly holding that pastorate together at a very critical time. When I received from Minister Noteman the letter stating, that she will be demitting the office of senior assistant pastor. I received it long time ago. Long time. I won't tell you how long. Long time. But I just kept it there, believing God to continue to work on her, to refire her and strengthen her. But of course, we have to grant her heart's desire at this time. You know, Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 18. I could spend all night here tonight talking about this wonderful woman of God. Minister Davis and I have learned to love and appreciate her for her, her service to this ministry. And... We knew her for long before Power of Faith Ministries. You would have heard she declared herself and the late evangelist Tilma Barrett would have fasted and prayed and asked God to return their pastor. And indeed, God answered their prayers. And uh, interestingly, she noted that the tent was pitched right beside Evangelist Barrett's house, right beside her house. Instruments and things were stored there. And the next move was right beside her house. I never even thought of that so clearly. And not only instruments of music and all of those things were kept in those two houses, but monies were kept in them too. The offerings were kept in them at times. And really and truly, God has certainly used Minister Noteman as a stalwart. But Proverbs 4 and verse 18 says, The path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Another translation said the path of the righteous 
is like the first gleam of dawn shining ever brighter till the full light of day. Yet another translation says, the good person walks along in the ever brightening light of God's favor. The dawn gives way to morning splendor. Another translation says, the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn which shines brighter and brighter until full day appears. Minister Noteman's life in this ministry is a true reflection of what the wise man Solomon says here. Because she spoke of coming from the hills of St. Anne. I never knew that all this would have happened for her. Never knew that the Lord had so much in store for her. And Minister Davis has good eyes, better eyes than mine. In terms of spotting talents and abilities. And Minister Davis was the one who actually brought Minister Noteman into the employ of the Power of Faith Ministries, and she served the office as head of staff for a number of years and has really and truly managed very, very well. And all the areas in which she has served prior to Lot 13 Portmore Town Center, from the tent to the board church to the general development of this ministry, she has proven to be like the rock of Gibraltar. And all that, <laughs> yeah, give her a hand. So the lifestyle of good people is like sunlight at dawn that keeps getting brighter until the daybreak. And that's Minister Noteman. And when you contrast her life and what the wise man Solomon says, which is a true reflection of this wonderful woman of God. He says in verse 19 of the same Proverbs 4, he said the lifestyle of the wicked is like total darkness and they will not know what makes them stumble. So you see the contrast there. This woman of God for 40 years plus, almost 41 years, has worked with this ministry tirelessly. And serve with me faithfully every step of the way. And words cannot express tonight a deep sense of gratitude, appreciation, and thanks to Almighty God for Minister Isilda Noteman. Away from the period of childbearing and overseas travel, and of course, the unfortunate lengthy period of her illness. For all of those years, minus none, she was totally engulfed, wrapped up in the work of Power of Faith Ministries. From top to bottom. And we give God thanks for Minister Noteman. A honest woman. Everybody say honest. honest. I could... And this is something I've done over time, over the many years. Minister, I could say millions of dollars came from these hands to your hands without even checking anything. And you, the honesty, the integrity, you were trusted to handle all of those funds. She's not angling any now, okay? So don't go look her down. To handle all of those funds. Without even a thought in mind. Not even a thought in mind. That she would be dishonest in any way. Complete trust and confidence. In this wonderful woman of God. So she is trustworthy. Worthy of trust. You talked about confidential there are not many people that I can share, well, I do share personal things with. Pastoral life sometimes is lonely. 
But Minister Noteman is one person. You heard Minister Davis said it. That she is her closest friend. Halai, confidence in ministry. If I share anything with Minister Noteman, and I've done so over time, I am completely at ease that not even Hans will hear it. Completely at ease. I mean that. That's the kind of confidence and trust that I repose in this wonderful woman of God. And I repeat, completely at ease. Doesn't matter what I said to her. Never have to worry that she, she has someone that she is going to whisper to. Lord, give me some more. I still the notes, man. Faithful loyal committed and all of these adjectives have been used repeatedly a supportive selfless and indeed a fearless warrior when minister noteman can i say was in her prime 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 when she takes this pulpit or that pulpit or whatever pulpit you can still see her on PFM family television when they go back to those vintage messages. Well, you're not saying nothing. Strong as a lioness and deliver the word of God without fear or favor. I really thank God for her. Some of you would have heard me said maybe on time of refreshing on Friday that there are three families but I'm praying for children. I'm almost finished, don't worry. But I'm praying for children. I said it publicly, and I think I said it before. Three sets of children that I use as my catalyst to pray for the children of this nation, and by extension, the world. And the first set of children is Minister Noteman's children. I never cease praying for these children. You know why I said, I said it on Friday? I said the model of example that she has been, the exemplary life that she has lived, the, 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 the biblical standard and the biblical knowledge she has inculcated in these children, Sean, Kevin, Nadia, Kerryon, and the others. <laughs> Tanisha and Jodian. If you don't serve God and you lose your way, Satan going to say, you know, I've no need, you shouldn't come down here, sir. Because you have a mother who was a model prior warrior. She trained you all right. Yeah, you all look at me, yeah, look at me. Train you right. And some of you once walked the path. But you allow Satan to take some of you away. So the first children. The second set of children. Evangelist Telma Barrett children. We have some here tonight. If they miss heaven, God help you. And the third set of children. i leave them nameless. <laughs> Minister Davis children. These three sets. What has been imparted to them? There's no way they should not walk the straight and narrow. No way. Minister, this gathering here tonight is wonderful. But you got many thousands out there on all of the networks. You should see the comments on the YouTube channel. We got over 4,000 people on YouTube watching right now. Sending all kinds of tributes and comments. Congratulating you, commending you. And we are on all the social media platforms that we are on, plus the cable channels. People grew to love her because she's for real. I still the note man is for real. 
Yeah, it's no wash over makeup. She's for real. She's for genuine, for real. She led the prayer department and led this and led the other and worked in this church. Work, I mean work. Sorry this day has come. But it, do, it, do, it, will do come, it will come for all of us. I am not far behind you, you know. No, I'm not far behind you. Yeah. My days of retirement are not far. No, no, I'm saying it publicly. And I've been saying this to you t repeatedly. It's not far. I know my limits. I know my, my days by the grace of God. But until then, my heart will go on singing. Until then, with joy I'll carry on. What do you say, Minister Brian? It's prayer time for you, Minister. Sit so down right where you are. I want all Minister Noteman's children and grandchildren and relatives. And whoever you are, come stand around the altar here, please. All of you. All of you relatives. Children, grandchildren, in-laws, everybody. Stand, stretch out around the altar. Yeah. Nadia, are you watching from England? I hope you're viewing. Prayer warriors, come stand behind them, please. It's prayer time. Boy heads, gentlemen, and ladies, and close your eyes, and children. For you we are praying. For you we are praying. Take a leaf from her book and run with it and you cannot be wrong. Follow her example and you cannot be wrong. You cannot be wrong. Stand with me, church. Cry a time. I am praying. I am praying for Bishops stand around the minister, old man, and pastors. Yeah. Close your eyes up. Prayer time. I am praying for you. I am praying. Precious God, we thank you for the matriarch of the gospel, Minister Hysilda Noteman, whom you have so graciously called by your grace, anoint with your Holy Spirit, raise her up to stand on mountain, raise her up to walk on stormy seas, raise her up in your presence. To even more than she thought she could be. Tonight we honor her. And we thank you Lord God that a casket is not lying in this church. And we are saying all kinds of things. That she would not be able to hear, touch or feel. We thank you that this is being done. God Almighty when she can receive it. And respond to it. Bless her again. Strengthen her again. Anoint her again. Pour fresh oil upon her again. From the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Let angels guard her 24-7. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we give your servant to you. She's still here. She's going nowhere. She's still here. God just taking it a little easier from the responsibility. So do it for her. Look down upon her children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, in laws, and all of them who are standing here tonight. Those in America, those in England, wherever they are across the world viewing this service tonight. I pray, my God. That every one of them will surrender to you. And follow in the footstep of this matriarch of the gospel. Follow in the footstep of this proverb 31 woman of God. 
following the steps of this Hannah. Oh God Almighty, First Samuel 1, a powerful warrior. I pray that none will lose their way. Not one. Everybody said, no, not one. Shakunda Masatabaha. Not one will lose their way in the name of Jesus. But you'll help them to find the path of righteousness and to walk with you as she walked. Oh, glory to God. Breathe upon them now. Visit with them, Lord. Visit with them, visit with them, visit with them. Give them no rest until until Sean return God Almighty to where he belong until his children come where they belong until every one of them my God oh Jesus I know that's a prayer of Minister Nordman's heart more than anything else to see them surrender to you have your own way now Continue to bless this woman of God and strengthen her. Continue to pour fresh water upon her. She has poured a lot of water over the years. You said those who pour water, on them shall water be poured. Do it for her now. And what we fail of asking you, you will not fail to grant it unto us. As we ask it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, lift up your hands and give God praise. Come on, open your mouth and give him praise. Hey, uh, hey Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Do it for them, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. The Lord bless all of you. Thank you for responding. Your mother, grandmother, and all the other relations, she's an icon. And we love her. We dearly love her. And we be there for her every step of the way. Give them a hand, please. Thank you so much. You can return to your seat. God bless you. Moderator. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, glory, glory, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, glory to God. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to God. Two final items. Hallelujah, Jesus. We have Evangelist Raylin. Lindo is coming right now to just do a solo. And immediately after her, Minister Noteman will just give a short response. You would have heard her on the video. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Evangelist Lindo is coming at this time, and immediately Minister Noteman will give a response, and then we will do the vote of thanks. Ministers and family members, we do have refreshment at the restaurant for you. Please just stay with us as we partake in our celebration. Glory to God indeed, the complete package. We truly give God thanks for minister. I still the note, man. Hallelujah. God bless Shall you. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So for all of these years. A minister has gone through so many things, good, bad, indifferent, all of that. Tonight, I believe she would want to say something like this. I've got so much to thank God for. So Wonderful blessings 
And so many open doors A brand new mercy world could ever be. God, you've been good to me. You have opened doors for me, given me the victory. God, you have been good to me. God, thank you so very much, Sister Raylene. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, at this time. Put your hands together. Glory to God. And make welcome none other than Minister, the Reverend Isilda Noteman, as she say her few words. God bless you. Oh, 
What can I say? Let me try to say something. Way down inside, my heart is broken. But I just want to say this. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. <laughs> oh, what the foretaste of glory divine here of salvation purchase of God born of his spirit washed in his blood this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day. I say all the day long. I love God. I love God. And I praise Him. I give Him thanks. I have no other story to tell. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. All, 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 all the day long. Bishop Minister Davis, who is my leader's over the years. Mom and sir, I thank you. You really surprised me. Doing this for me. I thank you both. Lord, have mercy. I highly respect you both. And I deeply appreciate you. And I wouldn't want any other pastor but you two pastoring me. The example you set, that's what I am following. That's why the word of God said, follow me as I followed Christ. Because if they are following the Lord and they are leading me, I cannot go astray. Cannot go astray because God will not lead them the wrong way. God is leading them. Thank you, Mom and Sir. God bless you richly from my heart to yours. Love you deeply on the inside. But I'm saying tonight, you really surprised me. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Really surprised me. I feel honored. I really feel honored. God bless you. God keep you. And the matriarch of Power of Faith family sitting over there, Minister Davis. 
praise God. She is the matriarch of the power of faith ministry. Continue, Minister Davis. Continue. Whether they love you, they like you, they hate you, continue to do what the Lord called you to do, ma'am. And I'm saying to those who have arranged this, put it together. Continue to work for the Lord. Be steadfast and movable. Always. Always. Not just sometime. Pressuring sometime, but go through the pressure. You're not alone. God knows that you can't make it from the mountain. Say, dig out a valley for you. So Jesus lead me through the valley. And when I look back and I see what the Lord has done. Thank you, Jesus. The songwriter said, roll back the curtains of memories now and then. Show me where you brought me from. And I'm sure all of us can say the same thing. And I want to let you know I thank you. I want to let you know I appreciate you. You have give gift. Jesus has much more to give you. What I can't give you, God is going to give you your portion. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm not leaving out anybody. I'm saying thanks to everybody. It doesn't matter what. Whether it be a $10 and a $20, or whatever dollar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And for Bishop and Minister Davis to arrange this. God guide and protect their thoughts. And they are great leaders indeed. Are you in agreement with me? If, if you don't in agreement with me, you don't have to say anything. Don't, don't say anything. Don't be the hypocrite and say, no, now you know you're not agree with me. But if you are in agreement with me, are they great leaders? Oh. We salute you, mom and sir. We salute you, mom and sir. We salute you, ma'am and sir. Could you stand to your feet, please? Please, just stand to your feet. I, I'm taking up time, but I'll soon give you the mic. I'll soon give you the mic. God is going to anoint me to. Mm. Mm. Lord, have mercy. If God bring me back from the dead, what do you think God can do? Eh, come, come, come now, man. If God bring me back from the dead and I'm here alive tonight, what do you think God cannot do? There isn't nothing that God cannot do. And your time is coming. So don't get jealous. Your time is coming. <laughs> Lord of mercy, God bless you. And tell, point your hand to them and say, God bless you, mom and sir. Are you saying it from your heart? God bless you, mom and sir. We love you. We need you. And we appreciate you deeply. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Love you. God bless you. Stay sweet. Don't watch the temporal things. Seek ye first. The kingdom of God is righteousness and all other things. God will bring them. Is that amen? God bless you. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Glory to God, my God. Lord, it's a pity we have to go. Glory to God. But minister is still the note man, yes. You deserve the very best. Is that amen? You may have your seats just for a few minutes. Deaconess Vivine Headlam and Sister Diane Clemens is coming to the vote of thanks. And immediately after them, our dearly beloved bishop will close us off. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure serving you all. God bless your family members and ministers. Remember to meet us around the back immediately after. God bless you. Hallelujah. What a celebration. We could go on and on and on and on celebrating this wonderful woman of God. But we don't want to scatter roses after she's gone. Good evening, one and all. We deem it an esteemed honor and privilege to move the vote of thanks on this memorable occasion. Firstly, and most importantly, we commence by giving glory to Almighty God. This evening's resounding success is attributed to him. Next, we would like to express heartfelt gratitude to our founders, Apostle Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis and Minister Dr. Petrova Davis for conceptualizing such a momentous occasion. On behalf of the Power Faith International Ministries International Incorporated, we would like to extend appreciation and gratitude to all our speakers, guests, volunteers, and participants who have made this event possible and successful. To Bishop Dr. Howard James Grandison, Assistant General Overseer, Bishop Michael Hutchinson, Divisional Overseer of PFMI USA and Canada Assemblies, Bishop Sutton, and Pastor Kevin Laylor, we express sincere gratitude to you. We would also like to express our thanks to the Reverend Clement Logan and Minister Charmaine Sutton of the Outstation Churches for your participation in this evening's gathering. To the technical team, we say a big thank you. This evening's function would not, would have not be seamless without your inputs. We would like to extend our thanks to the prayer department the silent worshipers, the choirs and the musicians, exhorter Keisha Stewart, ministers, elders, and all other credential officers. To the minister's care team, led by Minister Janet Small, with a deep sense of appreciation and heartfelt gratitude, we thank you for your unwavering efforts. Last, Last. but by no means least, we would like to thank her immediate family members, congregation, you, you, and you, our viewers on all social media platforms who joined to celebrate in this unforgettable occasion. Once again, Once again our sincere, sincere gratitude. gratitude. Thank, thank you, you all. Let us stand, please. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son. Oh, he his life. That all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Who comes to the Father through Jesus the Son. of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, 
Full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Rest, remain, and abide with us all now and forevermore. And God's people say, Amen. Amen. Shake somebody's hands. You're dismissed.